Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In the previous tutorial I showed you how to send an email with the help of a library called MailKit which is an open source library and uh, which is recommended by uh, Microsoft when using SMTP to send emails. Now I'll talk a little bit about the client connect. So when you're using the SMTP client to connect to a host and to a port. So basically the host is what the host, the email you are using, what is hosting that email. So for example, if, I, if I'm using Gmail, all I have to do is do Gmail SMTP host. Here, and here I can see that the SMTP host for Gmail is smtpgmail.com. For Yahoo, it is smtpmailyahoo.com. For Office 365, it is smtpoffice365.com. And, uh, and they have different port recommendation here. You have 587, 465, 587. So basically the host uh, you need to find out is based on your email address. Are you using a Gmail? Then you need to use this one. Are you using a Yahoo? Then you need to use this one. If you're using Outlook, then you can use this one, smtpmailoutlook.com. Uh, however, about the port, there are several different ports that are used for sending email, and the most common ports are uh, 25, 465, 587, and uh, 2525. Uh, and if you want to understand these ports a little bit more, then you have to read about the history about them. But they can give you a simple explanation. Port 25 is a default port for sending emails, and that was for decades before. Uh, before we have a, had a standard and, and we're thinking about security, we all use port 25. However, we have moved away from port 25 and then we moved to port 465, which was intended to be developed for using SSL when you're sending emails. But these two are most of the time not open ports for uh, server hosts uh, that are hosting SMTP servers. So you should not use these ones if you haven't get, got any recommendation to use any of these ports. 587 is the most common port used overall. It is the recommended one for mail submission uh, when you want to send mails. And uh, yeah, I would recommend to use this one uh, if you don't if you don't have any other instructions. If you if you need to use SSL and the port 465 is open, then you can use port 465, but I would recommend to use 587. However, if you have any issues connecting to port 5, 6, uh, 587, you can use 2525. This, uh, this is a port that is not recommended, but it's not, uh, yeah, it's not official SMTP port. So you know you can have some SMTP servers that are not using port 2525. But you can use 2525 as an alternative port for 587. So if you have issues connected to 587 or it's like you is blocked maybe, then you can try to use 2525 to connect to the SMTP server. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to check if a port is open or blocked. Thank you for watching.